Hi! In this video, we'll be replacing the broken nibs of our Copic markers and refill the inks as well. I'll show you the materials that you will need to do this and at the same time, let's discover what's the minimum amount of ink to refill the Copic markers. Welcome to Artsymed! Please hit that subscribe button if you love craft-related and travel-related content. Here are the materials that you will need. Your dried up Copic markers. I'm using Copic sketch here. Next that we will need is some twi tweezers. Next are the replacement nibs. I'm using the super brush nib here. Some cotton buds for cleaning. Alcohol. I'm using ethyl alcohol 70% here. The ref Copic inks or the Copic refill inks, a scratch paper, and also tissue papers which I was not able to include in this montage of materials that you will need. So this is what the refill inks look like. So this is B06. You have the number and the name at the top. Let me just quickly remove the seal here. This is the body. Of the Copic refill ink. There's a label here that says uh, refill nozzle and the name Copic ink made in Japan. This is the barcode and you have some Japanese descriptions and here it says it, it contains ethanol 77% and there, there are calibrations here of the ink. So for one ink it contains approximately 12 ml and there's a translucent uh, body here so you can see it, the level of your ink that's remaining. To open the inks, you twist the cap and you can see the pointed tip. Let me show you first the status of our Copic markers. Let me just get our paper and open this up. So let's try this. B06. This is the status of our brush tip. And this is the status of our chisel tip. So for the brush tip, See how dried up it is and if you can hear the squeaky sound and for the chisel tip it's already completely dried up. So I will first be cleaning the caps of my inks to be sure that I don't have any cracks inside the caps because if you have cracks then the refill, refill process will be uh, useless since it will dry up again completely. So let me just check here the cups. I'm just cleaning it with alcohol and to check if there are any cracks inside. So for this cup, there's none. And uh, let me just check the second cup. Another way that you can clean the cup easier is to have a cup or of uh, alcohol and then you just submerge the cup inside. Just wipe this clean. So for this one, there are also no cracks in the cups. I'll just open these Copic tweezers that I got. But you can use any types of tweezers also or you can use your hand. I just want to use the Copic tweezers because I want to try this. So this, was, this one is the one released by Copic. The way that we have to refill this is to... Go to the chisel nib side, open both sides, and then we just hold this gently. Unexpectedly, this is quite hard to remove the chisel nib. Here. Ah, sorry, I think destroyed some of my. I think I will. I destroyed some of the parts of the chisel nib. Oh no. So, um, we we'll get our refill ink. And then just drop this one by one. Six, 
seven. According to them, that we have to write around one ml. So this is eight, nine, ten. Also, I think this is one of my broken tips. You can see there, there's a white thing at the top. This was destroyed secondary to the, uh, I, I colored it on top of a gel pen. So that is not advisable. Okay, so I think my brush tip has a problem, but I, my chisel tip is already open a little okay so i think we need more ink but before that let me just replace the nib since this is already a broken nib so i'll just open this uh super brush spare nib from the copic also so for the replacement nib there is a pointed tip and a more rounded end so for the rounded end that's the one that we will put inside the body and this is the one that's on on the outside so we have to remove this uh, brush nib okay so you can pull it with your fingers also and then since we're already open we can put some more ink so in total we have already added around 120 drops we'll just put the replacement nib if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to this channel. Hit that subscribe button now. Hit that, hit that, hit that. And then we'll just wait for it. So while waiting for that to come out, another thing uh, you can see if you have a Copic marker that has a broken body already. So for this one, uh, you don't attempt to refill anymore because you it will just go to waste so we cannot refill that anymore we'll, ah we have just have to have and to buy a new copic marker for pg53 so as you can see here the ink is already being absorbed by the new tip okay so let us now check the brush nib i think this is okay for the chisel nib i think it is still streaky so we have just to wait for it to absorb more B14, this is B14. A technique that I found so that you will not destroy your chisel nib is to clip on the ridge side. You will see a ridge side on the chisel nib and that's where you clip your tweezers. I place around 120 drops of ink so that's approximately 1.5 ml. Also, another reminder is to always remove the nibs from the chisel nib not from the brush tip or else you will have this sort of problem you might break your brush nib so unless you're going to really replace the brush nib you just remove the nibs to refill the inks on the chisel side not on the brush side off cam sorry off cam i added more drops for the a uh, copic marker so a total of 120 including the previous one and i think we have a better inking now of the chisel tip so this is b14 there it's more juicy compared to the previous one and this is the rb52 or the cotton candy and this one is also more juicier so I'll just uh, I'll just let this uh, sit for more a while, and I think we're already good for with that. So for the brush nib, uh, this is the brush nib. So I think it's okay for the pink one, and for the B14, there I think it's also juicy as well anyway so here's the video thank you for watching taking care of my copic markers and refilling them changing the nib so the pink one was already broken all dried up already and then for the b6 the nib also was broken so i had to replace it okay so that's it thank you for watching please like this video and please subscribe to this channel